To make your shaker, you'll need some tubes, some kitchen roll cut down to about the size of a toilet roll tube, or some uh, card that you um, fold round and make a tube with. You need some glue, you'll need something to decorate your tube with. You can either colour it, use some stickers, or stick some tissue paper on it. You'll need some tape just to cover over where we're going to use some staples. So you'll need a staple gun or a stapler. And you will need something to put inside your shaker, some rice or some pasta. So the first thing you need to do is take your tube and decorate it. So you can either colour it, put stickers on it, or cover it with uh, tissue paper. I've covered mine with tissue paper like this. So you can make it all colourful and bright. And then what you need to do is you need to squeeze the ends together and staple them. Or you could use some sticky tape. And when you've got it stapled, it might be a good idea to cover that with your tape, just to protect little fingers from the sharp edges of the staples. So just pop that over the edge like that. Then if you you want to fold the other end, not squish it down the seam, but the opposite way to the way you folded the bottom. But before you do that, you need to put in some of your shaker material. Some uh, rice or some pasta or a mix of the two. So you get a good sound when you shake your shaker. When you've got them in, squeeze the top, making sure it's the opposite way to the bottom end that you've done already. Staple it so it keeps it firmly shut. And again, you might want to put a little bit of tape on the end of it just to secure it and stop the, uh, stop the staples from catching on anything. And there you have your shaker. And you can remind you of the story of when Paul and Silas were in prison and they spent the evening singing praises to God. You can use your shaker to sing praises to God too.